Hey everybody, it's the interview queen Alicia Toot here and it is my absolute pleasure to welcome you all to my interview with Jack from Exodus. Hello. Hi, how you doing? I'm doing really well. How are you doing over there? Yeah, good. Yeah, everything's good, man. <clears throat> we just uh, played this last weekend at the uh, Bull Terror Assault and uh, so back home now and everything's everything's good. How has it been being back on stage? Because I'd assume, especially with new music on the horizon, you're just kind of itching for the last year and a half to finally do your thing again. Yeah, yeah, it's been good. Um, both of the shows, it was it was really fun and really good to be to be back out. Yeah, for sure. What was been, it you missed? It's been a long time. It really has been. I mean, what was it you missed the most? Was it just the simple fan interaction, actually performing, uh, just being with your bandmates once again? Yeah, man, I think it was that, you know, like I was backstage and, you know, we were in the room and just talking shit and, you know, laughing and stuff. And I was like, yeah, man, I, I, I missed you guys. You know what oh. I mean? Um, uh, I live in Nashville now and they all live, you know, still back in the Bay and in Northern California. And uh, so I don't, you know, I don't get to see them hardly ever. So, I, you know, right. it was just good. It was good to like just be back with the boys and, and doing what we do. You know, you always hear about that camaraderie, but to actually hear it from the bands and from you yourself, you know, it's really nice to hear you're actually able to have that finally again. Because I, yeah, I just man. imagine how much it must have been craved. Yeah, totally. Yeah, totally. Well, it's such an exciting time to be a fan of the band, but also in the band because your brand new record for Sonan on Grata, uh, it's going to be coming out very, very soon. And this is your first studio record in seven years. So does it feel a little yeah. surreal knowing you're finally going to be sharing new music with everyone really, really soon? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's it's been a long time, but, uh, but we kind of knew it was going to take us a while just because uh, when Gary you know, uh, Gary was in Slayer and it was, it was just kind of a pain. Like we did blood in and blood out. Uh, and he was already playing with them. And, uh, so we just knew we didn't want to do another record until he was back, you know, with us full time. Uh, so we just, we were just waiting, you know, and uh, I mean, I think it's worth the wait, you know, he, he oh, yeah. really came out with some really good songs and, uh, uh, and I just, you know, I think it's just a, a great, a great record. And, you know, he got to go, you know, do all that stuff with Slayer and he deserved every, you know, every bit of, you know, the time that, that he had there with them. And, uh, you know, and we kept rocking while he was gone. And like now it's, you know, now it's time to, you know, to, you know, get it all back together and, and get back out there. So hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully it gets a little bit easier to to get out and and play music here real soon i mean i know it's it's uh it's just kind of a, a weird time and i think everybody you know jumped out on the road and uh and it was just a little bit too early i guess because it's right. it's still it's still like it's hard to tell it's just hard to it's hard to go out and make make any money with all these little extra precautions and all of this extra stuff and uh you know, so hopefully it just gets easier for, for all of us to, to get back, you know, to doing what we love to do. Absolutely. And I definitely want to talk more about the album. But before we head into that, uh, just speaking to live shows, I saw this footage from over the weekend where you guys had this crazy <laughs> golf cart <laughs> mosh pit going on. And at first I had to yeah. do a double look thinking to myself, like, wait, did this, did this actually happen? So what was running through your mind when you're back on stage, you're with all the guys, and then you literally just see mayhem with people in golf carts? <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's that's a that's a normal that's a normal thing in an Exodus show is to see something for the first time. So um, you know, they were all parked. They were all parked out there on the thing and we just said, Let's see it, boys, and they all came driving in and they did it. So it was it was pretty fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when it comes to great tunes being released off of this forthcoming album, you did share the single The Beatings Will Continue until morale improves. And this tackles mm -hmm. some serious and really heavy topics, uh, just things that have been going on in the world. So when did you all kind of feel like you've seen enough, you've had enough, and you wanted to put all of these thoughts into a track? Um, I mean, you know, that's really, <clears throat> you know, Gary... Gary's the the master of of the content, you know that 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 we put in there. He he writes the songs, he writes the lyrics for the most part. Um, you know he gives he gives that you know some some leeway, um, you know as far as that's concerned. Um, but for the most part, it's you know it's Gary's 
it, this is it's all Gary's ideas, you know, especially this record. He just really kind of came in and just had everything, you know, ready to ready to go. And um, so, uh, you know, Gary's always been kind of one of those people that tackles, uh, you know, social issues and, uh, you know, puts them in kind of a metaphoric, uh, you know, setting and type of stuff. This one's just kind of a straightforward, uh, yeah, you know, uh, like, like complain, you know, complaining and just bashing. Um, and, uh, you know, I mean, it's just the way, it's the way Exodus has always been. It's kind of the, the punk rock, uh, edge that I think Exodus has always, you know, carried along with us, um, you know, throughout all, throughout all the years, that kind of real defiant, um, <clears throat> you know, that, you know, finger at the, at the system type of thing, even, yeah. even still when we're old men, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's just kind of one of our, one of our hallmarks is, you know, to stand up to anything that's authoritative kind of. I was glad to see that carry on to some of the new singles because it does feel like quite an angry record. The title translates to unwelcome or unacceptable. So I'd love to know about some of the things that maybe are making you a little angry right now. Just what are some of your pet peeves <laughs> or things that happen to annoy you or just simply get under your nerves? Doesn't even have to be crazy serious. <laughs> I mean, I've just, I'm, I'm tired of being home for so long. You know what I mean? I, I just, you know, I, I, I'm tired of, uh, you know, I'm just tired of, things being you know the way they are and everybody seems to be mad at everybody else about yeah. about it and um you know i just kind of want everybody to be back and where we can all get into a room and beat the shit out of each other without <laughs> you know hurting each other really you know for sure what were some of the things you've been doing at home to keep yourself sane other than anything music related um yeah i mean i've just been kind of you know doing stuff around the house i put a guy had a garden this year and did that but you know i mean a lot of the time i just um you know i live here in nashville so i i do a lot of other type of music uh endeavors and uh i actually ended up this year i i kind of ended up recording um a few of my friends you know uh demos let's say because they you know, we're all of a sudden stuck at home and they got their guitars out and like finished the old songs that they had never, you know, finished before and had them all ready. And then I'm like, ah, come on in here. Let's record them actually. And, um, you know, made some actually pretty decent recordings for, you know, for, awesome. for some of my friends this year. And, uh, you know, not, not for any money, just kind of hanging out. They'd come over for, you know, a week or whatever. And we would, uh, you know, just record, record these songs that they had written um so that, that's kind of one of the things i did I, I play i play a lot of uh <clears throat> like like country music I, I pick banjo and uh do stuff like that too so i i have another band called coffin hunter that does that kind of, of music and uh so we 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 fucked around a little bit this year but uh <laughs> but there was really nothing going on so there was almost kind of no reason to put energy into you know something you know really productive and that's kind of why I was just doing stuff with my friends because it was productive for them you know and uh you know so I was just kind of passing the time it's all about finding those silver linings in such a shitty situation <laughs> like this yeah. the fact you're able to uh, connect with your friends and do something that's music which you obviously love very very much I think that's yeah. awesome because it's still different yeah, yeah. than the yeah. stuff with this band but of course it's, it's yeah. your passion well I mean, it was good because a lot of the time, like when Exodus is working and we're, you know, firing on all cylinders, I kind of come home and I don't really want to do any other side music stuff because I'm about to leave again. And I, you know what I mean? So this was nice. kind of a time of just freedom and like I could take on these projects that I would have not done just because I would have been too busy, you know, before. You know what I mean? So it was, it was kind of cool, you know. That's awesome. Well, the last thing I wanted yeah. to ask you about today is when it comes to this band, of course, you're going to go down as one of the greatest thrash metal groups out there. So to you, I would love to know who's the ultimate metal band, one that you'll just forever love. Slayer. Slayer is okay. my all-time 
Flair's my all-time <laughs> favorite, man. Um, like we got to tour with him, and I literally I would go watch him every night, man. That's amazing. You know, um, it was you know it was it was it was my my privilege to you know be around those guys and you know know them and uh, you know watch them watch them do their thing. It was it was awesome. I mean, it, when I was young, you know. It was Slayer was the the Kings, you know, even at the the Thrash. I remember Thrash of the Titans show, uh, Cr- uh, Clash of the Titans when it was uh, Megadeth and Slayer and Anthrax, and we all just thought Slayer Amazing. kicked everybody's ass, you know, and uh, <laughs> and uh, you know, it's just always been it's always been Slayer for me, pretty much. That's way good. Well, Jack, I want to say thank you so, so much for hopping on here, for talking about the upcoming record and everything else in between. It's been an absolute pleasure. So thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Of course, everyone watching, this has been Jack from Exodus. Definitely be sure to check out aliciatoot.com for more exclusive interviews and features. And we'll see you all next time. Bye, everybody.